I constantly felt like my art sucked. Here's what would happen. I would make an artwork, feel absolutely amazing about it. And then I would go online, compare myself to some 16 year old kid that gets thousands of likes and immediately feel like trash afterwards. Now, bear in mind, I already exhibited my work throughout the world and won a dozen awards for it. And so I had reason to believe that my art didn't suck, but this didn't matter. In fact, it made things worse because now I felt like I was doomed to feel depressed about my art for eternity. But what if I told you that feeling like your art sucks could actually be the key to unlocking your full creative potential? What if I told you that in the next 10 minutes you will learn why the greatest artists of all time thought their art sucked and why thinking that your art sucks is actually a sign of great potential? The first powerful concept that we have to understand is the perception curve. You can basically separate drawing into two skills, your observation skills and your drawing skills. Now what artists don't realize is that improving your observation skills is much easier than improving your drawing skills. And so what happens is that you improve your observation skills faster than you improve your drawing skills. And this has a couple of implications. The graph that I made shows two lines, one line for your observation skills and one line for your drawing skills and so what happens is that when you improve the gap between the two lines becomes bigger and so what does this mean for artists well it means that when you increase your observation skill line you improve your ability to formulate critique you improve your ability to see mistakes and so when you feel like your art sucks this could mean that your art in fact sucks but it also mean that you've improved a lot that you made your observation skills much better it's like Socrates this set. The more we know, the more we know that we don't know. And so one of the questions we should ask ourselves is how can we know if feeling like your art sucks is actually a sign that your art sucks or if it's a sign that you are improving your skills fast. Well, if you're a beginner artist and you've been drawing for a couple of months, you simply can't know. You will have to draw a couple of months more. But if you're somebody who has been drawing for years, the simple trick is the following. Instead of comparing your art to 16 year olds on social media, compare your art that you've currently made today or this week to the art you made last year. And if you see a clear difference, then it means that you've been victimized by the perception gap. Now let's say you're an expert and you've been drawing for five years, six years, 10 years, and you can barely see the difference between your drawings now and the drawings of one year ago. Does this then always mean that your art sucks? No, because there's also something that is called the improvement curve. A lot of artists who have been drawing for five years or more feel like they're not improving anymore or at least they're slowing down their improvement compared to the beginning or sometimes stagnating. And I most certainly feel this way depending on what type of medium I'm using and this is very normal. This is due to the improvement curve where the better we become the slower our progress will be. This is a curve that is very well documented in the scientific literature and we see this on everything. The line in this graph clearly shows that in the beginning our improvement is much faster than all the way in the end. And so what does this mean for artists? Well it means that we have to be aware of this fact. If you have been drawing for five years you might improve one percent in a month and all the way in the beginning the first couple of months you were improving five percent or ten percent in a month and so after five years your improvement goes down by 10x. That is absolutely normal. As a matter of fact I would even go as far as to say that improving 15 or 20 percent in one year after you've been drawing eight years is literally impossible. Nobody has ever done this. Picasso didn't do this. Whereas all the way in the beginning, the first three months, you can definitely improve 20 percent or more. And being aware of this results in us not being demotivated by slower growth. As a matter of fact, the difference between an expert and a good amateur is oftentimes just a couple of percentages. It's not that much. Now, what if you understand Understand the perception gap and the improvement curve and you still feel like your art sucks even though your art definitely doesn't suck. Well there are a couple of other pitfalls that we definitely have to take in mind as well. Seven years ago I realized that I was basically living two lives. One life in reality and one life in my fantasy. One life that I was living and then one life that I could live. I was constantly dreaming about making beautiful paintings, about writing beautiful books, about making a YouTube channel, about speaking on stages. And it hit me hard when I suddenly realized that I wasn't doing anything. 
I was the painter who never painted, the author whose last writings dated several months earlier, the YouTuber who had a camera but no channel. And looking back, it's easy to see that I was using thinking as procrastination. I basically realized that thinking is not the same as doing, that thinking in fact is inferior to doing. Thomas Edison said, vision without execution is just hallucination. And one of the reasons I was thinking all of the time was because in my head, my ideas were always perfect, always successful, and more importantly, never criticized by others because I was the only one that had access to them. In other words, I was afraid to fail. And the way I was falling in this trap was so subtle that I couldn't even see it at first. I was reading books, watching YouTube videos, constantly absorbing information, concepts that I would be able to use in the future, but I wasn't doing anything with them. This reading, this studying gave me a fake sense of improvement when in fact I was just standing still. There's this beautiful quote from Daniel Borstein that summarizes this perfectly. The greatest obstacle to progress is not ignorance, but the illusion of knowledge. Now, one of the big problems with this type of behavior is that the more you don't do anything, the harder it becomes to do something. Not doing breeds fears and doubts and overthinking because you actually have time to formulate those doubts and overthinking things in the first place. Doing is the antidote because doing deprives you of the time I'm necessary to formulate those doubts and fears. And so the antidote is just doing. The fear of the white canvas just melts away the moment you start painting. And so what does this mean for artists? Well, the more you do, regardless of your skill level, the less you will think that your art sucks. And the less you do, regardless of your skill level, the more you will think that your art sucks. And so in some cases, Thinking that your art sucks has more to do with your work ethic than with your skill level. It's just like what Van Gogh said. If you hear a voice within you say, you cannot paint, then by all means paint, and that voice will be silenced. Now there's one more elephant in the room that we have to talk about, namely social media, because the truth is that it's never been harder for artists to feel good about their own work than it is today. Oftentimes we make art, we feel amazing about the artwork and then we start comparing it to other people and we start to feel like shit. And most of the time, social media has something to do with that. And the thing about social media is that we are bombarded not with a realistic representation of the art world. No, we are bombarded with the best artworks of the best artists in the most amazing PR version of themselves. And so this is absolutely not realistic. And then on top of that, when we are posting ourselves, we are bombarded with comments. Luckily, some positive comments, but also a lot of negative comments. And the thing about these negative comments is that in real life, when people want to say something negative about you or your art, they need the courage to say it in your face. And because they don't have that, they don't throw negative shit in your face. But online, you can just hide behind the screen. And so oftentimes these comments are way more negative than they should be. And so what is the impact of this new online landscape that we are not accustomed to yet? Well, let's compare it to what it would be like 50 years ago. If you were living 50 years ago and you wanting to dive into the art world and compare yourself to other arts which is a very normal human thing to do well then you have two options you can either go to museums or go to workshops now the thing about workshops is that you are working closely with other artists side by side and so these artists that would be better than you in those workshops you would see them struggle and fail and complain and this would be a realistic depiction of what it's like and on top of that if they see that you would be a little bit demotivated with your growth or with the fact that they are better, then these people are oftentimes just very friendly and they would encourage you. And so all of this falls away in this online new landscape. And we simply don't have a way to deal with this yet. Our brains haven't evolved to compare ourselves to the best versions 24 seven on social media. And so what does this mean for artists? Well, it means that if you are becoming aware of the fact that the influence of social media is a little bit too much and is kind of demotivating you, well, then it's perhaps time to take a social media break, to do some kind of social media detox for a couple of weeks. And this is nothing to be ashamed of. You are not less of a professional for taking a detox. Now, all of that said, if you're still feeling like giving up on your dreams because you can't stand the negative self-critique anymore, I have a video called Watch This Before You Give Up On Your Dreams As An Artist. I'll link it in the description and in the end screen. That's it. 
get the hell out of here.